Hi, I'm Jill Kebb with Healthy Facts. Thank you for shopping local at your local health food store. And today we're making a delicious garlic mashed potatoes. Don't you love mashed potatoes? We do. I can't even make enough of them for my kids and I. We just, and my husband, we just love, love, love mashed potatoes. They're filling, they're yummy, they're kind of comfort food, and they're low in calories, very low in fat. They're 11% of their calories come from protein. You can really just about live on these things, and people actually have. There's been studies that have done with people living on potatoes and actually testing for very good health after like six months. Um, then there was another guy who just did that too more recently. So if you look at the Dr. McDougall website or Google that, um, you'll get more information. You can use any kind of potato that you like. Um, these are, I think, Yukon Gold's. And I'm using a three pounds. That's probably not even enough, but we'll go ahead and uh, just do the three pounds because then you'll have enough for your family tonight and maybe not leftovers. But I know this pot's a little overkill too. It's a little bit big, um, but I, I just like my pot, my, my, my larger pot here. Anyway, so you just need to, um, you know, peel. You don't even have to peel. You can make your mashed potatoes without peeling and leave the skin on, which adds more nutrients. Um, and then, once the potatoes are mashed, you can just put barbecue sauce in them or ketchup or uh, a low-fat dressing, maybe even a steak sauce. You can do hot sauce. You can add them underneath any kind of soup or stew, and they're going to just provide yumminess. And if you make a couple extras, like um, I have another recipe that I'm going to make using a mashed potato, so you can just add a couple extras to the pot and while you're cooking, and then have have some other for some other recipes that you might be using potatoes for. They're so versatile and yummy. Everyone loves them. We're making a delicious gravy today, too, to go with them, so be sure and check out that recipe. Okay, so I'm just peeling all the potatoes and cutting them up, just kind of rough chop. That uh, doesn't take too long. You could just turn on the radio or on the TV, and there you go. And then we have a couple garlic cloves. You can use as much as you want. Just going to roughly chop that up a little bit, too. And we'll throw that in the pot with the potatoes. It's just going to add flavor, yummy flavor. You can add green onions. You can add other other vegetables like turnips or carrots or parsnips or all kinds of good, exciting things we can mash with the potatoes. And then you just want to make sure you have enough cover of water to cover. I almost fell on my flip-flops there. Okay, yes, it is November in the Midwest right today, and it's... Gonna be 73 today. Wow. Okay. Gonna make sure the potatoes are covered with the water. And then we got the garlic in there, adding some nice flavor. And this really won't take too long to cook. Potatoes um, actually cook faster than you think, than some than I used to think. Um, I'll put them in towards the end if I'm cooking carrots. You know. Um, I don't know, they just, they, some, some potatoes cook even faster. This should take 20 minutes. We'll drain them, mash them with a little salt and pepper and uh, unsweetened milk, and we'll just have some delicious mashed potatoes. You want to check the potatoes and make sure that they are easily, you know, when you poke them with the fork, that they're nice and easy to poke and done all the way through. And then when you drain them, save some of the cooking water because we might be using some of the cooking water if we need to. You know, or if you don't have the unsweetened milk, you can do that. I'm also making this gravy right now that goes great with the mashed potatoes, so check that out in the different recipe. That's all nice and thick now. I'm gonna drain these. Okay, so we just need our milk and some salt and pepper. I couldn't find my white pepper, but I, um, you just don't ever wanna mash your potatoes in the, um, in the food processor. They'll get gummy and gooey. And so if you don't have a hand masher, you can use um, one of like uh, the little beater guys, handheld beater guys. Um, if you have the, the, what am I trying to say? One of the um, hand blenders, like this, this guy ought to be all right. Uh, I'm just mashing them by hand, but there's multiple ways to do it. Okay, my potatoes are done, they're mashed. 
I will add a little bit of salt and pepper. They're a little bit lumpy, but I like them a little bit lumpy. I like them smooth and creamy. I like them lumpy. I just love my mashed potatoes. I'm Jill Kev. Thank you for watching. Go to healthyfactsinc.com for more great recipes.